Hey there folks, uh, today I'm going to do a quick video overview of this Mont Blanc uh, Meisterstück ballpoint pen. Got to get that German pronunciation in there, Meisterstück, uh, because Mont Blanc is a German brand, in case you were unaware of that. Uh, I do have a nice photo, written photo review on Through My Lens with lots of great pictures. I'll go ahead and provide a link to that article uh, in the description of this video here on YouTube so that you can take a look at it as well as the photos of the other Mont Blanc pens in my, my modest little collection. Uh, this particular pen happens to be the first Mont Blanc that I, that I purchased. I've had it for a good five years. Got it on eBay very inexpensively. Got a killer deal on this. I think I picked it up for about a hundred dollars. So as a result it tends to be uh, the pen that I that I use a lot when I travel. Uh, this one's been with me, gosh, Germany, Switzerland, uh, Japan, all over the U.S. Uh, because I have a lot less money in it than, than I have in some of my other Mont Blancs when I, when I travel, I, t I tend to, to grab this one. If you go on eBay, uh, uh, you can find they're out there for between three and four hundred dollars brand new, but you can you can save some money by picking one up pre-owned and in the time that I've used this one it's proved itself to be very resilient and not really show a lot of damage. It has some uh, it has some scratches uh, I'm just surprised it doesn't have more because it, you know again I travel with it, it gets thrown in pockets and in, in bags and, and uh, you know I've definitely not babied this pen at all. I'll get some close-up footage and, and you know, you can see just how good it really does look. But the Meisterstück line is probably Mont Blanc's most popular line that they sell because, uh, in my opinion, they're the most classic looking pens that Mont Blanc produces. Uh, just classic timeless designs, as, as you can see with this one. A uh, really nice looking pen. Black resin body. It's got uh, platinum plated accents at the tip. Uh, at the base here and and, and the uh, the pen clip, uh, really good looking pen. Uh, very lightweight, uh, nice form factor. Here's my uh, here's my Starwalker black resin pen. You can see that uh, lengthwise there's not too much difference between them. The Starwalker is just a hair longer, but uh, diameter wise there is the the Meisterstück Meister Stuck tends to be uh, smaller in diameter and, and more comfortable to write with if you have smaller hands. I know a lot of women tend to use it. So uh, uh, it's it's just a joy to carry because of the lightweight uh, that it has. It, uh, it you just you don't even know that you have it on you. Uh, it is a ballpoint pen, which uh, you know has pluses and minuses. Definitely, I mean I can I can quickly you know just whenever I want to use this pen I can just twist it open and it's done uh, and I can write with it, I can just grab it out of my pen, twist it open and go with one hand uh, you can't do that with the Star Walkers where you have to take the time to unscrew the cap and then you know if you don't want to lose the cap it's a good idea to screw it back on the end and then you're ready to write so ease of use is definitely in favor of a ballpoint pen. I know I've said it in other videos, most true pen aficionados they prefer fountain pens. Uh, fountain pens just really aren't my thing. My handwriting's really bad and I have not found that a fountain, uh, a fountain pen really improves upon that so I've not got a lot of motivation to, uh, to use a fountain pen. The convenience of a ballpoint or a rollerball uh, works just as well for me and I like the ease of use and to be honest when I see people out there I very rarely see people with a Mont Blanc pen uh, but when I do they tend to be carrying uh, the Meisterstück in ballpoint uh, I, I see a lot of guys with this in their pockets so uh, uh, again it's probably their most popular pen let me go ahead and get some close-up footage Okay, so here's some close-up footage of this Meister, Meister Stuck ballpoint pen. You can see that wonderful detail 
there at the base of the cab, the pen, uh, that I really like, that platinum plated detail. That's just gorgeous. Here's the pocket clip here. Notice that you you probably can't see a lot of scratches. You might be seeing little white specks of dust, and variably, you know, little dust shows up here and there. It's hard to get rid of on these pens. I've noticed when I video them, but uh, you're probably not seeing <clears throat> the scratches that are here. You've just got to have the right light, and you've really got to get up on the pen to see those scratches that it that it's picked up. <clears throat> and that's a good thing. I mean, this. This pen, you know, for most people, you know, unless you really get up on it and inspect it, it's going to look brand new. Uh, it's just that uh, uh, that good at concealing, you know, little little bumps and scrapes, which is something I really like about this pen. I'm sure I'm going to get many many years of of usage out of this pen. I really like it. I think another reason it's it's so popular is because uh, the Mont Blanc emblem here, the the snow cap star, that's so distinctive uh, of, of Mont Blanc. That's very visible on the Meisterstück. So if you got this in your pen cap, there's no mistaking that emblem there. So, uh, and I think a lot of people do buy these for the status symbol, the the look at me factor, and. Uh, you know, I think that's another reason why the Meister Stuck is very popular is because it's very recognizable as a Mont Blanc. So there you have it. That's kind of my overview of the Mont Blanc Meister Stuck ballpoint pen really like it. If you're going to buy one and only one Mont Blanc, uh, it's hard to recommend any other model just because this is one you're going to want to carry and you're going to want to use. Uh, if you pay this much for a pen, you know, you don't want it sitting in a drawer someplace because it's it's inconvenient to use, it's too heavy, or you don't like writing with it. Uh, I really give it a two thumbs up and highly recommend that uh, you pick one up. It comes in other colors and uh, other finishes, yellow gold. Uh, my wife has a rollerball Meisterstück in burgundy and yellow gold that uh, uh, that she likes. Hope you enjoyed the video. Many more gear reviews coming, so please subscribe to the channel. Uh, and comments are very appreciated. God bless. Take care, and we'll see you in the next video.